In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to create an effective lower third without using any external graphics at all. Instead, we're going to use color boards and items from our Tidler room. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see more tracks. We have a picture, a clip of a car coming down a road. And we're going to use this to make a notice about safety with student drivers. So with that clip on track number one, I'm going to click on the media content item and choose a color board. I'll drag down a blue color board into track number two and then double click on it. And in this case, the first thing I do is under scale is I uncheck maintain aspect ratio. That will allow me to resize the color board to part of the size of my total display. And I'll try to keep it within the safe zone here and something like that. I'm also going to lower the opacity so I can see more things that are involved in it. And I think I'm going to just move it a little bit over so it doesn't cover the entire screen. Now the next thing I'd like to do is put in some titles. So I'll go to my title. I'll click on OK and save my color board. I'll go to my Tidler room and I will drag down uh, a title into track number three. And we're going to double click on it so we can edit it. I'll take it and I'll move it down. And we'll change the size a little bit here. Let's make it maybe an 18 and <clears throat> I'll change it to bold and I am going to change uh, change this number to two there make it wider okay and uh, let's change the font uh, font kind let's change it to impact there we go and we have this, we'll change this to uh, student drivers. Okay, one more thing I'll, I think I'll do with that is I'll, uh, I'll put a little border around it. We'll click on border and we'll give our, uh, ourselves a black border. And we can make it uh, one or two pixels. Okay, so there I have my border. Well, it didn't look like it took on all the contents here. Now we'll click on it again here. Right. Make her black. Click OK. And we'll make it one pixel. OK, I have a border there. Now let's take uh, another text item. And so I'm going to click OK on this one. And uh, we'll drag another one down in the lower track. We'll start it a little bit later. And we'll double click on it. We'll have a subtitle pop up here. And we'll move it down and shrink it down. Let's try uh, maybe 16. Make it bold so it shows up and say something like uh, <clears throat> drive carefully this summer. Okay, and I think I'm going to take the bold off. So there's a little, uh, little more contrast between the two. And that looks better. Okay, now here is my lower third. If I want to even make it a little fancier, here's what I can do. I'm going to click OK on my lettering and I'm going to go ahead and insert another track. Again, to insert a track between track two and three, I can click on any track, right click and say add tracks and I want a track above track three and click OK. And now we'll insert another color board. I'll go back to this area here. Let's take a white one. And this one here, we'll drag it. We'll double click on it. 
will turn off its aspect ratio and then we'll make it a little bit a little bit bigger I'm going to change the opacity so I can see what's around it we'll make it a little bigger than the blue one this will in effect give it an edge a white edge and then we'll drag it back so it's the same width here now we'll turn the opacity up again to a hundred percent and click on OK. Oh, I should change the tracks. So I want the blue in front of the white. So I'll drag the white up to track number two. There we go. And I'll take the blue track and turn the opacity back to 100%. And click on OK. And now we have one inside another. We can go ahead and tweak this if I want to by clicking on one of the tracks. But when we go ahead and play it when we're done, let's see, we move to the beginning of the clip. And now we have a bit of a lower third, double colored, with a border on the top and on the bottom. And uh, I didn't clean up the end of it. We could change it by changing the length of these items. But it gives you a little bit of a look at how you can go ahead and make something that looks relatively decent only using color boards and your title tool in PowerDirector. Here's a full example of what you just saw. The only thing I did was tweak the text a bit.